in the heavyweight division at UFC 299. You got Curtis Blades taking on Jailton Almeida. This is going to be a great fight. Big opportunity for Almeida. Blades has to hold serve in this fight. He's 17-4. Almeida, the Brazilian, on the rise, as you know. He's 20-2. and two. Now, Blades, one inch taller. He's got a one-inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right-handed, and they're both 32 years old. So pretty even so far. Blades, 3.6 significant strikes per minute. Almeida, 2.8. But the biggest factor here is the takedown game. And you might be thinking Almeida's got a big advantage here. And he probably does. But Blades actually lands more takedowns than Almeida. 5.9 over the course of three rounds. Almeida sitting at 5.1 over the course of three rounds. Both guys nearly two takedowns per round on average. Now, when you look at Blades' fights, he doesn't get a lot of takedowns in every fight. A lot of fights, he doesn't get any. He hasn't had a takedown in the past three fights. And that's because they're all quick fights. He lost to Sergei Pavlovich by KO in the first. He beat Tom Aspinall by KO in quick fashion, like 15 seconds. Uh, he also beat Chris Dawkins by KO in the second round and beat Rosenstruck, uh by decision. So he's 3-1 and one in the last four, but lost uh, in his last fight against a good fighter. So interesting fight for Almeida because Blades is the top, you know, He's one of the top dogs in the division. He beats everybody he's supposed to, even beating the interim champion in Tom Aspinall. Now, when you look at Almeida, he's beaten everybody, right? He's beaten Derek Lewis by decision. He submitted Rosenstrike. Uh, he beat Shamil Abdurakimov by KO. He submitted Anton Turkal. But we really don't know what to expect in this fight because we know Almeida's good, but now he's really getting into the nitty-gritty of the division. And... You know, I think a lot of people would like to see this guy keep winning and face John Jones one day because that would be the ultimate test, and especially the takedown defense of John Jones with the takedown ability with Almeida. But first, he's got to get past Curtis Blades. Will he do so? Yes, I think he will. Now, Curtis Blades can land takedowns, but he's a 33% takedown defense. That's going to be a problem. And, you know, even though Blades can go to the ground, Almeida is much better and more experienced on the ground than almost anyone in the heavyweight division by far. And that's why I like him to win this fight and keep winning, to be honest with you. He's creeping into our due list top 20, especially if he wins this one. Uh, if he does win this one, in my opinion, I think he will. He'll move to 21-2 and two here in the heavyweight division at UFC 299.